guys, first and foremost, before we even start the video off, I wanna say rest in peace to Kobe Bryant and his daughter and the people that were involved in the helicopter crash. I can't even believe that I'm actually saying this. It's crazy. Yesterday was like a standstill. It's very emotional. I felt like the whole world just stopped yesterday and felt this pain. It was, I truly am lost for words. I had to start off by saying this because I know the people that looked up to Kobe, I looked up to Kobe. It's like you're losing your hero. It's like we all knew him almost too, I feel like. So I can't imagine the people that actually did his family, which really hurts my heart. So I just wanted to say rest in peace to Kobe, his daughter, and everybody that was on the helicopter. I'm still in disbelief. I wanted to get back in the videos, guys. I'm getting a lot of DMs. I'm getting a lot of questions. It's really overwhelming now. My last video about reselling did really well. I wanna say thank you to everyone who supports me and continues to watch me and believe in me. I also believe in you guys and this is why I do this. Reselling now is absolutely insane and I wanna show and share with you guys some techniques, some tricks, some tips on how to do this. This is what I have been investing in. This is my stocks, this is my stock market and it has been through the roof. First off for me, I've never had a regular job, ever. I've never had a nine to five. My family is a little different too. A backstory, my mom's father, my grandpa, never had a nine to five. My dad now and before has never had a nine to five. My brother has not. So to me, it's almost normal to not have something like that. And when I tell people what I do, or when you guys probably tell people what you do, whether it's selling shoes, being an entrepreneur, selling anything, people kind of look at you and they're like, huh, you know what? They're so used to being and working a nine to five that it's almost like caught off guard like that. What, what do you mean you don't? Oh, you must not make money then. And times are changing and I see a lot of people now are not just doing the nine to five and working like that. For me personally, this is normal. This is life and this is the life that I wanted. I think to me that your time is the most precious thing that we have. And especially looking back as just to yesterday, Man, Kobe, all these people, all this sad stuff happening. Time is the most precious thing that we have. So I wanna spend my time how I wanna spend my time and I think you guys understand that. People are like, man, if I just had the time you had or if I just had this, if I... Guys, we all have the same 24 hours. You have the time that I have. So this is why I wanted to hop on here and explain to you and to share with you guys, this is how it's done. It's consistency. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want to make money? How bad do you want to be an entrepreneur? Willing to lose sleep over this? Are you guys, because this is how I think and this is how I feel, this is how passionate I am about the resale game. I just love to sell anything. It just so happened that I fell into shoes and I can make a living now doing it. For me personally, yes, it started off as a hobby. I just like shoes. Now it's turned into a whole business. And now that I'm happy, I can share this with you because nobody's ever given me the blueprint. People have always thought, that what I've done or selling shoes is almost like a joke. And I talked about that in my podcast. Like, well, you sell, you sell Skechers, bro? This is a, eh, we always talk about it. It's a bit different. So things are different. But like I said, you hold your head up high and you don't let the haters or anybody or anything stop you from living out your dream and your passion. This is what I think you guys should do. And this is how you should start with your sneaker business if this is what you wanna do sneaker wise. Guys, you have to have your own website first and foremost. You have to have your own website. I'm not saying that you shouldn't sell on other platforms. I'm saying that you have to have your own website. Be Shopify, may that be making a website. You guys are super good when it comes to the internet, so I'm sure you guys can figure it out. I use Shopify as of right now, and it's been working pretty well for me, and I use PayPal. The thing that I think people lack is you should sell on every single thing you do. Your favorite sneaker stores, guys, and I hate to break it to you, sell on every platform. They sell on Goat, they sell on StockX, they sell on things that are actually moving. These things move. I sell on Goat, I sell on StockX, I always put stuff on my website, guys. I sell on every single platform. Do not limit yourself. Do not limit yourself also when it comes to used too. A lot of people are very scared to sell used, guys. I'm not gonna get into crazy detail about this. Used to me is my bread and butter. If you guys are selling used sneakers, personally DM me and I'll get more into it, guys. The profit margins are awesome. You should not try to get rich, guys, off one shoe. I cannot stress this enough. When you guys are moving volume, 
it does numbers, guys, and it speaks for itself. Keep it moving, I keep it pushing, I'm on to the next shoe, I'm always turning my money, guys. If I can sell the shoe immediately, I'm super happy. Not to mention, if the shoe doesn't sell immediately, guys, it's not bad having inventory. Inventory's good. When I come home or go to my office and I'm looking at the sneakers that I have inventory-wise, it's more precious to me than gold. That's how I feel. It is legitimately more precious to me than gold. When the money is sitting in your bank account, I'm not saying empty your bank account. I'm saying that when the money is sitting in your bank account, the interest that it's collecting is like really nothing, guys. When it's sitting in inventory, you know that money is gonna turn just like that. It's not bad to sit on inventory. Every time I sit on something, I'm always like, oh, I can't wait to flip this. Oh, I can't wait to make money. It is my investment. It's literally investing in yourself. So I think that you guys should, number one, have a website, make your own website, hands down, easy. Gotta have an Instagram, guys. I use an Instagram, I post every single day on Capital Vegas, guys, every single day. Make sure if you guys have an Instagram, you post consistent. I'm always buying, I say. I post nonstop steals. Not to mention, I make it so that you guys, if you really want the shoe, yes, it sells out in seconds, but you guys know that you have your notifications on. Notification fam, I see you guys. You guys can buy the shoe, then flip it. I have a ton of resellers. I sell to a ton of stores. I make it so everybody can eat. I know what it feels like, number one, to miss out on shoes and to overpay. Like I said, I can't be perfect when it comes to every single shoe. Yes, some of the shoes have to be high, but when it comes to store-wise, I am lower than every single store, especially in Vegas. There's, it's not even close. My overhead is a lot less, obviously. So I think you guys should sell on every single platform. Goat, StockX. I'm not a huge person of offer up and stuff like that. I don't think that's like the greatest thing ever, but if you guys wanna sell on that, I think you should sell on that. So being an entrepreneur and being a businessman is definitely not easy, but I can promise you guys one thing. It is 100% worth it when it comes to this. Your time, like I said, and your freedom is literally everything. I personally thought when I was working for companies, why am I gonna make them money and not make myself money? Like, it makes no sense. I was with another sneaker store and I was thinking to myself, why am I making them money and not myself when I can just do this? It was a learning lesson the whole time. So that's when I branched out on my own, started doing this. Guys, consistency is key. I cannot stress this enough. I'm getting messages literally on my phone. If you guys don't follow me, make sure you follow me on Capital Vegas and Dylan Flex. What's up, bro? Watching some of your YouTube. I came across your IG. I was trying to see if you had any things I could sell and can flip, make small profits. Guys, yes. Write me. Let me know. I have shoes on my website. I constantly am flipping through product. Another issue that I think people feel, and especially our society, and this is how it is, people get high on their own supply too much. Man, if your size comes in, you don't have to have every single size 11 or size 12 that comes in. I am not crazy when it comes to the shoes. Do I love shoes? Man, I love shoes more than anything. But I don't have to always have that shoe that comes out. And I think that's a misconception. People always are dipping into their profit and their money. Yes, I get it, the shoe pays for it. Guys, don't get high on your own supply constantly, man. Make money, sell the shoes. This is a business, you have to understand that. And your friends should understand that too when it comes to giving deals out. Man, real friends, don't ask real friends for hookups, guys. Yes, you guys should take care of your friends, I get it. I'm always giving discounts and taking care of my people. But the people that are constantly asking, hey, Dill, let me get a hookup, let me, guys. That's not cool, that's not a real friend. Real friends support real friends. This isn't a motivational video to get you guys hyped about sneakers or reselling. This is life, this is what it is. You gotta be consistent. People are always asking me, Dylan, how do you have sales? Last year actually was my first time I've ever been alone selling sneakers. Just myself alone. I don't even wanna say this. I've done half a million dollars in sales. Just alone, consistency, guys, is key. We're talking about getting the shoes. You're like, Dylan, but how do you get the shoes, man? I'm a hustler, I'm doing, guys. Are you posting on your Instagram that you're constantly buying? Are you constantly replying back to DMs? Are you constantly posting content saying you're buying, saying you'll travel? Guys, I will fly to you, have you fly out here, I will go buy your collections, I will do whatever it takes to get sneakers. So if you guys are watching this now, no cap. I will fly out to you, you fly out to me, I'm buying collections, I'm buying all sneakers, guys. That's how it's done, you have to be consistent and fight. You know, reselling now is really different. Everybody's a reseller. Everybody wants to make money. Everybody's lining up for shoes. The Yeezys, most of the Yeezys look alike now. I know you guys feel the same way. You're like, what? Those are the what? What are the, yeah. 
That's how it is. You guys have to have a niche. You guys have to be different. Something about your brand, you has to be different, guys. For me personally, it's my prices. My prices are probably the lowest. Yes, I know there's some shoes that can't be. My prices are the lowest in the game, guys. And I'm buying for really low too. My margins are always good. Something about you has to be different. What makes me want to buy a shoe from you and not the other guy? Something about you has to be different. Your references, you're legit. You have to have a niche about you and your company that makes you different from everybody else. Man, I'm over here hype, feeling like Grant Cardone over here, but I swear to you, this isn't a motivational video. This is literally what I do. I'm going right now. A lot of people don't like to be on camera just for various reasons when I go meet up with them just to buy. Uh, that's just how it is. It's no offense to them. I would love to show you guys, and I would also like to have a camera guy to show you guys the buying process, but this isn't a video on how much I buy stuff for and how much I flip it for. Yes, that will be another video too, and I will show you guys all the profit margins and what I make monthly, and we'll do all that, which is really entertaining and cool to me because I never really get to see that process. I'm gonna be starting a program that's gonna help beginners or people that really wanna learn resell better I'm gonna be starting a program, and I'll give you guys information on that shortly. It's not all together yet, but I think you guys are really gonna like this. It's gonna be a literal format on how to resell, the process, all of that. But this is just a video I wanna to share to you guys because I'm so passionate about what I do, and the messages and the love that you guys give me is, man, it's overwhelming, and I love it. And I'm happy to give back to you guys. I love when you guys are posting the shoes that you guys got for me. Man, it makes me feel great. My heart feels so warm from that. I'm happy that I can give you guys deals that I would personally like, I never sell shoes that I personally would never buy. I'm not over here pricing shoes that are like outrageous because I would never buy something like that. So I'm always thinking, would I buy that right before I post it? Okay, that's a good price, I'd buy that. Then I'm sure you guys check StockX and my price is always lower than StockX. What I did is I started selling shoes on a very, very small scale. I did not have a big bankroll going into it. It was literally sell the shoe, flip, 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 and then the bank account obviously started to grow, which means instead of buying two shoes, I could buy five shoes. Instead of buying five shoes, I could buy 10 shoes, so on, so on, and so forth. That's how it started. I never started with a big amount of money and was like, you know what, I'm just gonna buy a ton of shoes. No, I started and I trusted the process, so just like I was telling you guys. This is how it's done. I started on a very small scale and then built up my bankroll, so I was able to buy more shoes and more shoes, and I'm continuing to do that. Guys, it is not all sunshine and rainbows when it comes to reselling life or business. This is just what we choose, and this is just what I chose, and this is the way I chose to live. Man, I am stoked and happy to be back on YouTube, sharing this stuff with you guys, and being able to help you most importantly. That's the coolest thing, man. Like I said, I know I always say this, I never had help with the resale game, so it's cool to be able to kind of help you guys a little bit. And this video wasn't just to ramble on and talk about that, like I said, it's not a motivational video. This is just some tips and tricks that I think you guys should do and learn as you guys go. It's just certain things that resellers just won't talk about and won't share with you. Every time I watch videos, I'm always like, man, this guy probably just had money. There's no way. Like, how did you get that and you bought that? They never really explained that much of the process and what happened. So this series in these videos are gonna be explaining the processes. Yes, I'm gonna do reviews on a bunch of stuff, but this is explaining the resell, the process, and really how it's done. All right, so the next video that I'm gonna get ready to post, yes, I'm gonna post another video this week. Uh, let's just say I spent a lot of money, and what I bought is one of one, and you probably have never seen anything like this, so let's just say you don't wanna miss this. Guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Man, I just wanna go fast, hold on my teeth and on my head.